player want to be moved. Just here ready to meet and remove for 103 opponents. Midfielder who went on strike for them. Chelsea are willing to go back to some Ajax midfielder at Zeno Flores in the January Trans window. Claims CBS Sports as Ben Jacobs. The Blues tried hard to get the Mexican domination before the summer deadline day but failed to see the move from him. The Mistrucial side left it too late to register serious interest in all areas after realizing that the current midfield options aren't exactly up to the mark. They tried to get a deal done for him in the final days of the summer window but had a major 43 million pounds being bid rejected for him on deadline day. This forced Chelsea to change plans and sign Juventus midfielder Denis Zakaria instead, but that doesn't mean they aren't interested in the Ajax man anymore. Jacobs adds that the Mexican midfielder has been reassured that the Premier League side are still planning to sign him soon. They will go back once again in the January transfer window to move and look to get the Dutch side to sell after they refuse to do so late. In the summer window. Alvarez was reportedly furious that he wasn't allowed to leave Ajax for Chelsea and even went on strike for the final few days before the summer window closed. The rise and progression of Adam Alvarez at Ajax is something that I've never seen before. The importance of the Mexican should not be underestimated. In their first window under Todd Bowley's ownership, the London side made quite their statement in the trust window. They spent more money than any other side in Europe. With the week being £272 million pounds being spent, that also marks the most money spent in a single trans window by an individual team in football history. With the Mr. Shell getting all the players he needs to help them compete at a higher level. They signed eight new players, consisting of a mix of part youngsters and some well known experienced talents. They got in Rahim Sterling from Manchester City to bolster the attack, as well as Kalido Kulupali from Melbourne. But the Blues weren't done strengthening their backline there, as they also signed Wesley Fofana for a whooping 70 million pounds now. They also signed bright youngsters Gabriel Slonino, Cesar Casadei, and Connie Chukwu Mika with one eye on the future. Chelsea ended that trans window by roping in Zakaria and Pierre Emmerich of the Maya on deadline day. But even after such lavish spending, it doesn't look like things are done all that and as they will go back for the Ajax midfielder, who has made 103 appearances for them in the winter window.